Hi folks, ladies and gentlemen across the globe, my name is Gesharan Singh Upal aka Gersh's World TV. It's been a long time since I've been on this YouTube video platform as I have been absent due to me being really busy with work commitments and training working out at the gym 3-4 to four hours a day and other stuff going on. Today I'll demonstrate and show you all how I tie my Damala style version of the turban on the contrary, there are countless other millions of Punjabis across the universe that tie distinct types of the turban. Some prevalent and prominent examples include you got the Gold Star, you got the Patiala Shahi, you got the Watanawali Pug, you got the Malla, and you got the Smosa triangle version of the turban. People will understand the concept of the um, Smosa Pug, especially those whom. I attended and visited SNA Sikhi Khalsa camps growing up as a kid and being a group leader before I actually tie uh, before actually time out the start I tend to recite and undertake Jopi Sahib the part. However, for the benefit of this video tutorial, I'll show um, I'll go I'll commence trying to tie this turban. I'll commence trying to tie this turban without any further delay and I'll proceed ahead. So moreover the base of the keski is 4 centimeters long in size and I believe and 7 centimeters long for the the manla, the original material itself, the final layer of the, the star. Also I tend to cut it in half before actually time of the start. So let's get started with this video tutorial, shall we? So first things first, I'll take off my patka and tie my judah from scratch or the manburn turban, whatever you want to call it. So let's put this here. So this is how I tie it. For those who have doubt or curiosity, This is how I tie it. You twist. And you wrap it, tighten it like this. This is how you tighten it, you do it upwards. <laughs> like this. So I'm going to move my head upwards, downwards to see if it doesn't, if it's not loose or it falls off because it will look silly and weird. So it's tight. That's how I want it. So now I'm going to wear my ramal on top, right? Like this. <clears throat> So now what I'll do is, this is the 4cm base or the gear ski which I was on about earlier. So this is folded by the way. <clears throat> so I'll wrap it around my jura as tight as I can. I'm going to open it as wide as well, not too much. 
So this is how you tie it, tighten it. To make the, the mala look more circular. Then after I tie the scare ski or the base, right? I'll tie the patka, which is the second layer of the, the star for the Dumalla. <coughs> so this is the patka, and I'll tie it like this, wrap it around the keski. This is how you do it. Tighten this and you fold the edges and you twist it inside, tighten it. <clears throat> then what you do with the last two edges of the potka get them and you fold it on top this is your second layer of the, the star Fold the last two edges right that's your second layer sorted for the start And what I do now is you get the actual material itself, the, the star, and you start pulling it. <clears throat> you start, hang on. Yeah, this is it. You wrap it. Make sure these part, um, two side parts are folded, which is about, say, roughly about two to three centimeters. And there, this is you do it like this at the back of the neck horizontally to sort out the diagonal triangle bits. And you want to have this in the middle, the triangle. And I'm going to fold the last two edges before tying the start like this then you want to have it across your forehead your mata like that and pull these two downwards a bit layers and Now this second for the second um, fold, I'm gonna open it. I'm 
unfold these last two edges again. This is the second layer and what you want to do is the last two folded bits you need to, especially the top layer, you need to put it, pull it backwards like this This covers everything, the layer underneath. Now, you want to fold it again. What you want to do is manage the edge for the, the star or turban like this. You want to have small and big folds of the turban. So now you want to fold it, you want to, sorry, you want to grab this on the bottom towards the ear and like this. You do it in a more of an arch kind of shape. That's that sorted. And you want to drag it. downwards like that like that then you want to make sure you want to cover the neck as well the back of the neck this is the arch shape so it's the same procedure again drag it downwards and also to make the lines or the bitch for the turban it's like this you tighten it as much as you can not too tight that it hurts your forehead and you get headaches fold it like that Then it's the same procedure again. Make sure this is all balanced. We'll drag this like that. And this is how you do the third bitch. Also make sure everything's covered from the back of the turban or the, the mullah. And you want to put it that way downwards so this is how I do it even when I go to the workplace or anywhere else the only place I don't tie the, the star is when I'm training, going, attending um, pro wrestling school, dojo school, um, as well as the gym, working out to prevent biadabi or desecration of the turban from occurring. So. Yeah, I'll we'll fold this, keep the separate like that, 
going to have a horizontal straight line and fold it from inwards of the edge and this is how you do it make sure it's also neat and tidy in order for the lines to be more visible I'm going to do the same procedure again Now this is the final lot or layer to make the fold the star complete and finalize it. This. <clears throat> so you do it more much more of a in a circular way. Like that. And you're gonna put the lot right at the and you want to tighten it as much as you can this is how I tie my tamala before I go to work or anywhere else or at the Godwara so yeah also I want to give a final personal shout out to the same just just kaka the same just Baji for um, posting and uploading the video on the Turbinator track a while ago it's a good awareness message for society and the youth out there who encounter such discrimination and ra face racist epithets because of their the way they look the, the way they um, tie the turban because of the also because of the religious headwear as well at the same time so have a lovely day enjoy your Christmas also I would like, like to give out Happy New Year to everyone for 2024 and if you want any help with anything just direct message me on my email address or ask if you want to ask any questions about how our time on the start or anything wrestling related or fitness or anything else just just give me a shout out through email thank you don't forget to uh, give it a thumbs up don't forget to um, give the video a like comment and subscribe if you love the video and hopefully this video clears all the doubts and curiosity for those who I when I was a victim of bullying at school what I have underneath or what I wear underneath they confused they often confused it with grenades and rocket launchers at the same time so this will clear all the doubts what I actually have underneath the turban material itself and thank you for listening to this video and have a great time take care see you